Hello everybody, San Diego Comic Con was a blast of an experience. It's been a couple weeks since the convention took place. Let's talk a little bit more about it. San Diego Comic Con 2024, again, great experience. I had a great time every single day that I was at the convention. Great to meet Chris Hemsworth during the Transformers 1 panel. Great to meet SpongeBob during the SpongeBob anniversary panel, or Tom Kenny, the voice actor. Great to meet Capital J Dodd, voice of Wolverine, the cinema bop. <laughs> and I think the personal favorite for me was meeting Bella Thorne. Now, I did some videos already during the convention about my time meeting them, and I shared some more details about those separate panels and autograph sessions. Check out those videos from my Comic-Con playlist to see all the details I shared there. Anyway, some people are raising questions now of whether San Diego Comic-Con should stay in San Diego. Hmm. Seems shocking to me that people would raise that question. But I'm here to talk a little bit about that. Now, before I continue, I was at the Comic-Con talkback panel at the very end of the convention where people were making some complaints and criticism to the president and Comic-Con staff regarding San Diego Comic-Con. And I raised a question to them myself about the pricing for the badges themselves. And other people made complaints and criticisms regarding the Deadpool Wolverine panel and the pricing of hotels because a lot of the hotel buildings nearby are charging too much for the pricing just for the convention days and the insufficient amount of hotels. And, you know, they all made good points too. But. You know, and these are issues that need to be resolved, the issues that need to be figured out sooner rather than later. But some of the points people make regarding moving San Diego Comic-Con to another city, some people have suggested moving the convention to Las Vegas because the Las Vegas Convention Center is bigger, much bigger, apparently. Now, that might be one point to make, but let's also remember a lot of parents bring their children to San Diego Comic-Con. Las Vegas is not a child-friendly city, so, Las Vegas would definitely not be a good place to host San Diego Comic-Con. Las Vegas does host CinemaCon, but that's a vastly different convention. Uh, one, or some people have even suggested Los Angeles, um, which I don't think they're serious because the Los Angeles Convention Center is very ugly. I've been there for other expos and other conferences, and yeah, it's that's not a nice place at all not a nice area surrounding the los angeles convention center either i mean you have the la live area and then the whole town surrounding it is uh, not I, I don't have nice things to say about that <laughs> but uh, la did host wondercon one year wondercon which is also owned by comic-con international or hosted by comic-con international and yeah i was there the year they hosted that and did not like that wondercon anaheim i've had great experiences there in past years. Um, LA also hosts LA Comic Con, formerly Stanley's Kamikaze Expo. LA Comic Con is its own convention, not affiliated with Comic Con International. I haven't been to that one. I know it's taking place this fall. Maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. Other big cities have their own comic conventions like the New York Comic Con, or C2E2, Chicago Comic Entertainment Expo, and other cities too. But uh, San Diego Comic-Con is, you know, the big one hosted by Comic-Con International. And, you know, I, I think, you know, San Diego Comic-Con definitely deserves to be in San Diego. It's funny, I was watching a documentary, Doomed the Fantastic Four production. It was, that's not the actual title, but it was a documentary all about the production and canceled release of the Fantastic Four movie from, from 1994. And... The interesting thing about that is they had a part in there where, about the promotion of the movie at San Diego Comic-Con 1993. And it was interesting to see the images and videos of what San Diego Comic-Con looked like back then versus what it looks like now. You know, and that also brought up a good point that San Diego Comic-Con has a history of being in San Diego. Not only that, but the Comic-Con Museum was built and started in San Diego a few years ago. I remember being at that building back when it was still under construction for another conference that got started there a few years ago called the Storytelling Across Media Summit. And that was a fun little conference to be at that Comic-Con International started. I had a fun time there. And I know now that the museum is completed, I haven't gone since then, but I would definitely like to see what it looks like now. And again, that's another good point that, you know, now that that museum is, is there, I think San Diego Comic-Con should definitely stay in San Diego and you know that's 
as crowded up as San Diego is, you know, seeing the whole town that surrounds the convention center become Comic-Con town during that, during that time is such an additional great experience. Not only that, but San Diego is such a beautiful city. <laughs> I mean, that, the gas lamp, the convention center area, the beautiful town and beach that surrounds the convention center. It's an awesome environment. So for all these reasons, I think San Diego Comic-Con definitely should stay in San Diego. And a lot of these issues that have been going on regarding, you know, the crowded areas, the hotels, the, and you know, everything else, you know, does need to be figured out and solved sooner rather than later. So I will leave it there. Any questions you have, any comments you might like to make? Were you at San Diego Comic-Con this past summer? Whatever your thoughts are, share them in the comment section. Like and share if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell if you want notifications. I'm creating for you. Have a great week and a great life. And always love yourself for who you are. Godspeed.